This is Richard Engel. Les hommes du raid et du GIGN lancés à la poursuite. Their faces are now known all over France. The Kowachi brothers, Saïd, 34, and Sharif, 32, sons of Algerian immigrants, but born in Paris. Their story of radicalization goes back a decade. In 2005, Sharif was a wannabe rapper who delivered pizza and worked the fish counter at a supermarket. He was also watching images of the Iraq war. The abuse of prisoners at Abu Ghraib, which he said enraged him. This is the low income housing project where the Kawashi brothers lived in their early 20s. They were reportedly petty criminals and occasional drug users working odd jobs. Sharif was also increasingly angry. He decided to travel to Iraq to fight U.S. troops there and started training. He jogged every day at this local park and learned to use an assault rifle from a man he met in this local mosque. But before Sharif could travel to Iraq, he and several of his associates were arrested. He has been more radicalized in prison. Jean-Charles Brissard is one of France's leading terrorism experts. Sharif was released after 18 months, and initially, it appears he was under surveillance. But that became expensive. So eventually, they stopped watching Sharif closely. A time came when the intelligence services assessed that he posed no more threats. And he went on the ground. In 2010, Sharif and his brother were questioned, but subsequently managed to evade surveillance, reportedly even traveling to Yemen and Syria, and then return to execute France's worst terrorist attack in decades. And tonight, Brian, we're learning new details. U.S. counterterrorism officials tell us that one of the brothers, the older brother, Saeed, received months of training in Yemen by Al Qaeda's branch there and both brothers were on the U.S. no-fly list for years. Brian? Richard Engel and Lester Holt both starting us off from Paris tonight.